Hey, internet. So, as you can tell, we're finally gonna talk about sticker storage today. I know I've been saying that I was gonna do this video for a while, but I kept putting it off because like everything wasn't put away. And I think I've just come to the conclusion that there will never be a point that everything is put away, so we're just gonna do it. So I'm gonna talk to you about all the sticker binders I have. These are not all of them. <laughs> I kind of just grabbed a few and threw them in the shot. Um, they do all sit comfortably at my desk though, so they are all visible to me while I'm sitting at my desk, which I think is a really helpful way to remember what stickers I have. So let's go through it. Okay, so we're gonna start large and kind of move towards small just because that's the order that they're set up on my desk. So these would be the farthest to the right and then I'm gonna move left, kind of how they're organized for me. I, it doesn't really make any sense to you because you guys probably won't ever see my desk because it's an absolute trash pile, but either way. So first off, we've got two binders. They've got more of your like functional stickers. They're the size that a lot of shops used to offer. A lot of shops still do offer them, but um, some shops have moved towards that kind of smaller size. So you can see I have a lot of these boxes from Taylor and Tucker. She actually sent them to me when she rebranded because I love these, but and I've got a lot of frilly boxes from Miscellany Boulevard. It's this kind of thing, like we start with the functional stickers, we move on to some little like to-do lists, some date covers, then we move into like these miscellaneous like full boxes. I went through a full box phase where, because I was doing, I mean I still do, but I went through a full box phase where I like requested people to send me their kit leftovers if they were full boxes, so I have a lot of that. Kind of just these like funky i have a lot of stuff from the sticker party um <laughs> just you know this is all this is all functional those erin condren clear dots that i'm never gonna finish using we have some hydration trackers glitter headers these are cute like hobonichi sized these cute little instagram stickers there's just a lot of you know bigger size and then we get into here which is more just like decorative i don't even know how to explain it but that's this whole binder. You can see it's pretty much things that just don't fit in one of these binders that I'll show you in a minute. Um, and they've got the clear, you know, binder sleeves in them to keep them organized. So then next up, I have a second functional binder, but this holds all of my like pre-punched stuff, um, as well as a few kit leftovers just in this pocket here for easy access. So I've got um, a lot of this with swag actually. Obviously I can't put any of it away. This isn't where it goes either, but it's just gonna go in there for now. Um, I use these a lot in my dailies and in my like messy planner. I have a messy kind of like brain vomit planner that I've described a few different times and I don't really use stickers in it like decoratively, but I do really like to use stickers in it functionally for things that have like a time associated with them, if that makes sense. Just because it, it makes it easier for me to see and know that I have to be somewhere at a certain time versus a list of like general tasks that I can kind of just dick around all day and get to them whenever, if you know what I mean. So I use a lot of those here. A lot of these were swag at events, like the Taylor and Tucker was a swag from Sugar Girl Shop. I sat at the Miscellany Boulevard at Go Wild in Austin. And now I'm on her PR team. <laughs> Um, so it's a lot of that, and then I've got, um, and Hearts and Dragons was also the Miscellany Boulevard. They shared a table at Go Wild. I've got a lot of the CAD from Michael's stickers back here. These kind of stress me out because I feel like I'm never going to get through them, but I'm going to try. I'll make an effort. So that's this binder. And now we move on to kits. So this is my kit binder. It's from Cricut Paper Co. Like, what a surprise. I'm sure nobody's shocked. But as you can see, it's very, it's very large. It's very, it's overfilled. I would prefer it to, to be, you know, the size it's supposed to be. So that's actually something I'm working on. Here, there's a lot of kits. There are a few like miscellaneous Simply Gilded sheets, I think, that aren't necessarily categorized as a kit. But for the most part, there's all kits in here and they are generally organized so that if it's a full kit, like enough for me to do a full memory keeping spread, there's towards the front. So that goes up until like after this Bubba kit, I believe. And then from there we have more like one page mini kits, maybe things that I've gotten in swag, that kind of thing, that they're kind of just smaller and supplement. And I use those a lot in my shop planner or maybe like my print pression. It depends really. Um, 
you know, based on what's in them. Cause like if I'm going to use them in my print pressure, I'm probably going to look for date covers and stuff like that. But those are kind of like multifunctional mixed kits. And then back here I have some Hobonichi kits that are not sized to fit in the Hobonichi album. So I have Sticker Party, Sweet Bean. I do think she's resized her kits since then. I have a few Parasol Paper Co. These do fit in the albums because they fold, but I just, I put them in there. And then Willawalla Co. And I know a lot of the shops in here have since reformatted for the most part to fit in those more consistently sized Hobonichi albums. But you know, this is from months ago at this point because I like to buy sticker kits. So next on the list, we just have this kind of like loner album from, it's clear actually, I think, I think I got this album in swag for some event and I didn't like the artwork that was on it so I peeled it off. It is larger than a regular character sticker album you can see, so it does fit slightly larger sheets. This is what I've decided to keep all of my like happy scrappy and Simply Gilded, kind of a mix, honestly. So that's what I was saying about moving the Simply Gilded from the other binder into this one. Um, kits, so you'll just see. I've gotten Happy Scrappy sticker kits for a while. I like to really use them in my dailies, so I keep them separate because they're kind of their own thing and they don't really fit in with like the kit. I wouldn't memory plan with them personally, just the way that they're set up, so they go in their own little binder. I will be making a sticker for this. I'm just lazy and I'll probably get to it the week off that I have between Christmas and New Year's because that's finally like the first downtime I'll, ha I'll have in like months. Okay, so then next we have a Hobonichi sticker album like I just talked about in the Cricut Paper Co. kit album. Most hobo kits fit in here. So this one's from Willa Wallaco. I thought it was really cute because it's like, there's stickers on the album, you know? So this just is chock full of sticker kits. I have a lot of Miscellany Boulevard, Starfish and Frog, Fox and Cactus, and Happy Scrappy. Some from Ashley and Laz, some from Cricket Paper Co. I think there's like date covers in here for more Av. There's just a lot happening. <laughs> Um, and it's great. I love this kit so much from a little while ago. So yeah, like I said, some of hers are sized to fit in here, you know? So it's pretty straightforward. I have Hobonichi kits to last me the year basically, so I'm pretty set on that front. Okay, I love this album. On my shelf it actually goes this album and then the Hobo album, but you know, I figured we were on the topic of kits, so I would cover that first. This I received in swag at the Wonton and a Million party, and I believe that it's in her shop. I'm not sure if it's sold out or not. I know she had it listed when she put the merch up for the Wonton party, but I love this album. It's not organized in any way, so I'm gonna go over it first. I do plan to organize this eventually, and I'll tell you what I'm gonna do with it, but for now I'll just show you. Um, I've kind of just thrown in previously unorganized sheets of stickers. So you'll see that this album fits two quarter sheets per side, you know? So you get like this one thing holds four quarter sheets. I think it's genius, especially for Wonton because her sticker sheets tend to go more this way. So you're not seeing them sideways. But um, my plan here that I've kind of already done a little bit is to put a lot of my like foiled functionals in here. I do have them in a separate little sticker notebook right now, but it's like not doing it for me. I want to transition those. So when I get a minute, I will do that. And I also have my Taylor and Tucker stickers in here because I do PR for her and my PR binder that I'll show you in a minute is currently full. That just has to have some shuffling, but I just wanted to show you. It's not organized by any means, but it is a great sticker album. I personally love it. There's lots of space. Okay, now is sh probably what you guys are all waiting for. These are my little quarter sheet sticker albums. Some of them have seen better days, but here they are. And technically I have this one too. I'll explain in a second. These two functionally are the same thing. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six of these sticker albums. They are, for the most part, except for these two, because these are different, labeled up at the top, right here. So as you can see, I made labels to go over what each of these kind of covers, and they're organized within um, using like a little sticker tab system. So you can see I have these little 
little tabbies. Okay, so I've zoomed in just a smidge because now I'm dealing with smaller, smaller stickers. We've got four um, notebooks, four sticker albums for quarter sheet sized character stickers specifically. I tried to keep the themes within the books similar so that if I was looking for a specific sticker and the theme didn't exactly fit but there was something in a similar category that fit, it'd be easier to find. That's at least like where I'm going from there. Some of it kind of doesn't make sense because like, for example, I wanted my Disney stickers to be in this sticker album by No White Space Stickers for obvious reasons. Like it's not, it doesn't take a genius to figure that out. So we have in the No White Space album, planning, shop, work, study, and Disney. So these are a lot of like desk related activities and then Disney thrown at, at the end because Disney. Then in my Bun Liners album, I have money, weather, functional, and text. These are kind of just like boring. <laughs> like, I guess, I don't know. This was, this was the last album I organized. Then we have health, fitness, self-care, beauty, shopping, and food. These are all kind of like self-related, um, like wellness type stickers if you really think about it. And then we've got emotion, TV and games, traveling, and adulting. So there's general like emotion stickers takes up a good half of this album <laughs> and then we've got like entertainment type stuff and then I have adulting which is like chores and stuff like that so you know it is what it is so I'm gonna do a quick flip of each one of those so that you can just see what's inside of them so we're gonna start with this Disney one like I said each one starts with a tab and if there's a missing sticker it's because of this I have a, bi a bin of stickers that has to be put away this is this is why I haven't filmed this. <laughs> like, so some of these stickers go in these binders. You, I'll get to it at some point in my life. Probably not. So here we go. We've got planning. This has anything to do with planning. So there's a lot of like mail stickers because obviously part of planning is getting mail. There's a little like crafting stickers, sticker haul, print inserts, organize your desk, that kind of stuff. TN stickers, new releases, pens, that kind of deal. Etsy stickers. I don't use these as much anymore because my Etsy shop isn't open since I moved to my standalone, but you know, washi, that kind of stuff. A lot of Fox and Pip stickers. Um, spread and wide Sunday and whatever that half week humping <laughs> one is. Then we have work. So there's a lot of like laptop stickers, a lot of laptop stickers. I use a laptop sticker like every day. Um, and then I have like a little presentation sticker. So then I have studying because I like to take a lot of classes in my spare time. So that's like reading, studying, motivational things, a little glasses, Coffee Monsters Co., that kind of thing. Then we move on to Disney and I only have a few sheets. I'm like weird about using Disney stickers when I'm not at the parks and I'm like never at the parks. So I only have a few things, but I have used some of those for Disney Plus. So then we've got this one which is like emotions that's as you can tell kind of like the biggest chunk of any sticker album that's just general like anything that's kind of just like a character making a face I love these from Lula Wallaco little like speech bubbles so you can see I've got them kind of in order so it's like yay and then there's like lazy tired grumpy fuck this kind of you know <laughs> this is one of my favorite the worst that kind of thing relationship stickers which are gross <laughs> um and then from there it's just like little decorative kind of like onesie because that's a thing that a lot of shops have or just like little characters that are like these are little spiros and then we've got just like objects there's a there's a vague there's a vague theme to it then we move on to tv and games so that's like cameras film things this is one of my favorite stickers because you're like laying in bed on your phone eating popcorn that kind of thing then we have travel i have a lot more of these travel stickers that are in that bin <laughs> um and it's you know pretty straightforward so then adulting is a lot of cleaning chore stickers laundry wash dishes i have a um some orders coming in because I don't have that many cleaning stickers if you haven't noticed I repeat a lot of them so I did actually just order some more of those that is one of the benefits I think to categorizing your stickers and forcing yourself to organize them because by doing this I kind of saw that I had a lot of general like emotion type stickers which are great I love using them but I didn't have that many cleaning stickers so 
instead of buying more emotion stickers, next time I can just buy more cleaning stickers and it'll all balance itself out. This next album, these ones are Happy Scrappy by the way, the two ones with the bows. This one is health, so like a lot of headache, migraine type, crampy stickers, pill stickers, that kind of thing. Fitness, so I have like scales, go to the gym, workout, swimming, different yoga, barbell workout type stickers. There's a lot of these. I went through a serious yoga sticker buying phase. I'm pretty sure I could use a yoga sticker every time I do yoga for the next year and still be set. Um, Self-care, so this is like a bath, face mask, laying in bed, sleeping, more sleeping, <laughs> take a break, day off, that kind of thing. I love these stickers from um, Pretty Cute Planner. They're like little affirmations or whatever. I don't know what the word is for that. And then I have beauty, so that's anything like makeup related, nail related, brows, that kind of thing. Hair appointment, um, shopping, online shopping falls into that category. <laughs> Just any like store branded stickers. And then I've got food. So I have a fair amount of food stickers in here, either preparing, drinking, etc. They're for the most part organized by like solid food and then drinks and then cooking, but it's kind of a clusterfuck because I use a lot. I use them a lot and I'm not the best at putting things back where they came from. Okay, mom. So last up, we have money, weather, functional, and text. Money is a lot of stickers about not spending my money. <laughs> like this broke sticker, close your wallet, all that kind of stuff. Payday is also included here. Then for weather, we've got a lot of those like weather tiles. I need to get better about actually tracking weather. I was doing it for a while and then I stopped. We got a little Totoro rain sticker, which I love. There's some moon shit in here too. Mm. You know it, okay. So then we have functional. So that's like any kind of character sticker that doubles functionally, I guess. So you'll see a lot of like post-it note type stickers, little like banner stickers with characters on it, Fox and Pip bow stickers, just random functional to-do type stuff. These foiled Fox and Pip checklists. These are great to use in my dailies. Not so much kits, but I love them in my dailies. You'll see, like, then we have like just bows, just a whole section of bows, <laughs> paper clip stickers, that kind of thing. Some Simply Gilded. Next up, I have text. So these are like textual stickers that kind of just say stuff about things. So that's the mood there, basically. It's pretty straightforward. So those are my labeled character sticker binders. Next up, I have my PR binder. So I do PR for three shops. Two of them are in here and a shop I used to PR for, she's not open right now, is also in here. Um, so I have Starfish and Frog, then Miscellany Boulevard, and then Planner Fair is currently closed, but she is in the last third of this notebook. I have all of her beautiful stickers. So that's, you know, it's one of my albums. I got Sharpie all over the back of it. Don't even talk to me about it. I have to make a new thing at some point. I'm just like, eh. I care so little about it that, you know. So these are kind of like a work in progress right now. This album came first, but what happened was I just threw a bunch of my random stickers in here whenever I use them and they have no rhyme or reason. This one came second and as you can see, they're in like numerical skew order, which is a much better way to do things, Kate. So yeah, I just, I love this artwork. It's Beetlejuice, he's my homeboy. So, you know, this is the one that's actually gonna stay and then this one will probably get turned into something else at some point, but I'm gonna use up the stickers in here because they all pretty much have a sticker taken out of them. They'll get transferred into here at some point. It's just, ugh, ugh, it's a thing. So that brings us to miscellaneous. So that brings us to miscellaneous sticker things. So I've got two of these things, which I talked about a little bit earlier. Right now, these have like samplers and like foil seals in them. I'm just trying to use that up. Use what you have. This one has more samplers. There's a third one that I, I didn't even bring here. Anyway, there's a third one. It's got all my foiled shit and like date dots in it and seasonal. So that one will be moving into my wonton binder so that that's kind of like in a place. I, these are like really great 
if you don't have a million stickers but when you do you fill it up and then the covers start falling off and you know ugh. so I will be moving out of these as soon as I use up the samplers inside of them then I've got two of these little gum cases these are great you just get them at the grocery store I think I'm like the only shop that sells dividers for them which is cool <laughs> I don't know I'm just really into them so in here I've got like a lot of my um, actually I, I need this one for a plan with me that I'm filming after this a silhouette have mercy because Lord help me with that silhouette this week um, I have a lot of my script stickers my doodle stickers I had a Hobany cheese <laughs> little boxes for a while that I don't sell anymore all that kind of stuff just goes in here super easy to take on the go it's a super easy way to organize business card type stickers and then I've got another gum case for my miscellany minis so for starfish and problem in miscellany boulevard um, she offers the same size sheet of like everything in her store for the most part so I keep those in here once again they're great for smaller planners pocket rings hobonichis that kind of thing so I use those a lot in my dailies. Then, last but not least, I've got two little on-the-go type sticker albums. This is yet another small business card sized sticker album. Like I've said before, I got this from Purdy Planner at the Go Wild Shop Summit. We did like a little swap. So it's just great. It holds a lot of like contact card, that kind of stuff. I've been plugging through this because it's my goal to get through all my samplers as soon as possible so we're doing that and then I have this Van Sticky sticker album it was in her anniversary box and it was a collaboration with So Very Busy who's paperish now so I love love this sticker album it's that reusable paper I have put it through the ringer so it looks a little rough but that's because I don't know how to peel things up off of papers happens to be with regular stickers too you should see my kits when I'm done with them so here is just once like a sampler in any of my other like this thing a gum case another binder gets sparse I'll put the extra stickers on here and as you can see I think I flipped through this recently and I had a lot more stickers in it so I'm making see look at that an empty page I'm making headway this has been you know an achievement for this year <laughs> so that's it that's the tour I got a metric shit ton of stickers and I put them all in binders and I they sit happily on my desk that's really all I have to say about that um, I think that I have a lot of stickers. I know a lot of people have way more than me, but to me this is, you know, I'd like to minimize that a little bit by this time next year. So that is something I will be working on, and I will also hopefully be working on putting things away where they came from right after I'm done using them so that I don't end up with bins of stickers, <laughs> which is what I've been ending with. So as usual, if anyone has any questions, if anyone wants to share what they organize their stickers with, leave a comment below. I can't believe I'm saying this, but if you like what I'm doing, like subscribe, that would be cool. It's really wild to me that I have like 350 subscribers, so that's cool. Um, and other than that, I mean, I got nothing else. That's it. Later.